guys, it's Amy from Now Polish Baby 90. Welcome to today's video. Today I am here with an update of my favourite Essies. Now I originally did this series, I don't know, like two and a half years ago now. It's crazy to think that it was that long ago when I did all my favourites by brand and then by colour. I'm going to be revisiting some of those. I'm not going to do all of them again, but I'm definitely going to be doing Top Essie and Top Zoya now-ish. So you should be expecting to see those soon. So when I originally did that video, and I will link it down below for you, it was only five Essies. Now thinking back then, I didn't actually own as much as I do now shamedly um but also i didn't have a ton of essies and still out of like the main four brands opi china glaze zoya and essie essies are the ones that i have the least of so back then i decided only to pick five but now we're here with ten also a lot of these are newer polishes i really think that essie has stepped themselves up so much the past couple of years and we went through a patch where everything was watery the thin brush was annoying everybody um, and then now we're on this place where people are excited to see what Essies have come up with they're doing glitters they're doing hollows they're doing um, beautiful creams they've got their wide brush and I think on the whole Essie has been one of my favorite brands of the last year mainstream wise anyway out of the top four I would say Essie is possibly my top on what's been being released by them so enough waffle, these are just in no particular order. Um, some of them are the same from last time, but we do have a lot of new additions. Let's go, top 10 Essie. The first two I'm gonna show as a couple, and actually I should mention, I'm gonna just put up whatever swatches I have for these. I wanted to redo some swatches, but I'm like, two breaks on the thumb and pinky so um, I'm out of swatching action at the moment so I'm, I'm sorry if any of the photos are a bit out of date but anyway the first two are a duo and these is their um, Keep Calm and Mercury On duo that came out last year these were Ulta exclusives and they have just redone and they're doing some more Ulta exclusives this year with these silver caps again I believe they are pink and purple these are just really different and really beautiful the first one um, Keep Calm wow. is this super shifty um, blue um, and it does get completely opaque in three yeah. coats it's just super shifty and super glowy and I'd say a nice three coater so that was keep calm and it's other half is and mercury on which is a purpley base with a strong blue flash in it more opaque but they just they just go together really nicely and the formulas are really great and it's just something really different um so keep calm and mercury on were number one we're counting them as one I know that's cheating but I couldn't just pick one the next few are actually kind of representing collections that I've really loved. If I think back on my favourite collections from Essie from the past few years, um, we're going to talk about some of them now. So one of my favourite collections from recently was the 90s inspired collection that they did a few autumns ago. I did do a full review on that and I will try and remember to link it down below. But out of that collection, my favourite was Girly Grunge. And it's just this really weird purple uh, metallic, but it's not too silver. It dries really, really beautifully like a cream. Sometimes Sometimes you find with metallics they can be a bit streaky and a bit like filling in fall into the ridges of your nails but this was just a really really good stand up where it was beautiful formula and a different color from them um so that was girly grunge and that is just a two coater another collection that i really loved was a french inspired collection and i have two from that and i will try and remember to link that video I'll try to remember to link any SE videos where I've done a full collection review of some in these top 10 down below. But that French collection was really good. That was a spring collection, I want to say. So from that, we have Blue La La. And to me, this is one of my favourite light blue SEs. Um, it's, it's tops bikini so teeny for me, just where it is just a beautiful, beautiful pastel blue. Um, it's going to be a three coat where it is so heavily white based, but really, really great. And I think, because we in the UK actually got the wide brushes, yeah, I've got the wide brush on this. The wide brushes a lot earlier than the US, and I really think the wide brushes make the applications of things much better. So say if you got a polish that was originally released with a thin brush but now with a wide brush you may be able to do less coats with the wide brush if that makes sense and also from that collection we have baguette me not which is pink with a dash dash of purple in there and it's white base but not as pastel as blue la la blue la la you can see it's a lot more white base but again just a really nice pastel and this one for me was only a two coater um so yeah those two collections the 90s and the french one definitely some of my favorite collections ever another collection that i really enjoy not 
my top favourite but one that I really enjoyed was the Galentine's collection where they released polishes with these funky labels and they brought back some glitter toppers and that's one of the ones we're going to be talking about today. This is Sparkles Between Us and this is just fuchsia glitters but they are in a variety of sizes with some silver micro glitter in here. Um, I just loved the fact in general that they did a glitter toppers three, I think it was three glitter toppers. Um, I love the collection, the idea of it, um, overall it was really great and from the three glitter toppers, this one is my favourite. It looks great. I think I wore it over a blue, I'm not sure. But this would look great over a blue and this and it looks like great over white and other pinks. I think I wore this over like a peach. But I'm going to wear it over a navy blue now. I've just given myself that idea because that would look amazing. So that one sparkles between us. So I've included these two both in the top and they are very, very similar. So the, it's the original OG of After School Boy Blazer. Um, this is just a, a classic um, Essie throughout the times and the ages. You will hear people talking about this. And it's a beautiful, almost black blue. Um, and this one, I believe, has got the old brush on it because I've had this bottle for quite a while. No, this one's got a wide brush too. Obviously in the UK, we just got the wide brush super early compared to the US for some reason. But After School Boy Blazer is just a staple. I couldn't get rid of it um, out of the top 10 just because I love it so much, even though it's a bit strange probably having the two of these in. So this one is Booties on Broadway, and this one came out last autumn in their New York-inspired collection. And it's like one or two drops lighter. Then um, After School Boy Blazer, a lot of people were saying they liked Booties on Broadway more because it is a little bit more blue and not easily as easily mistaken for black as After School Boy Blazer was. Um, but Booties on Broadway was a two-coater. Um, yeah, I just needed them both. You probably don't, but I did. One from the other video that I did and still a favourite for me is No Place Like Chrome. This is a beautiful silver chrome a finish polish polish finished polish um it's just great it's a great application out of all of those kind of chrome effects that came out mirror like ones that came out with at that time i think this is one of the best ones you don't need a special base with it um it's pretty street free and even if you get a good application on it um and again it's just one of them ones that um Etsy did that was something different compared to the other mainstream brands out there um so no place like chrome and that's going to depend on your application you might just want to go over it a third coat just to get the streaks out if you had any but if not you'll be a two coater a polish that people kept going on and on and on at me about for a really long time was Beautiful Horizon. Um, and this came out in a collection that we didn't really get over here in the UK. You can pick up odd polishes now, but it was never released like in our drugstores. And for some reason, Essie just doesn't appear all the time. We have like the spring collection till autumn sometimes. We don't get the bits in between. It's very strange. But this is a beautiful blue base with a strong red flash to it. And the whole of this collection were all like that very, very strong co contrasting flashes again something very different for a mainstream brand um, so Blue to the Horizon was two coats and like I said if you're in the UK it might be slightly harder to find I can't think where I found mine I found mine in a really odd place I can't remember and the last one I think was in my last video I didn't double check but it's been a long time favourite of mine this is Urban Jungle now this is a really great putty um, like neutral white grey it's got like a little bit of everything like greyish maybe should we say like a really 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 light greyish um, I, I love it I love um, white based polishes I love creamy polishes and when I think of Essie I always think of Urban Jungle and I don't know why so that must mean that it's a favourite for me this is going to be a two or three coat and mine's thickened up over time so it could get opaque in uh, two coats now but um, love that so those are my top 10 or 11 essays, depending on how you want to look at it. Let me know some of your favourites down below. I will try and link those other videos that I mentioned. So I've got the Galentine's collection review, I've got the French collection review, I've got the 90s collection review, and I've got my previous video with my top five essays. So I'll be doing this for Zoya soon, um, and then we might go through some of the other ones that I've done. Like I might do like redo top 10 hollow and stuff like that, because that is like come on so much since that time. So give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you soon.